What's up everybody? It's NS here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Laguna Beach, California and about to tour this beautiful oceanfront estate. House has six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, 10,000 10 square feet of interior space, built on a 24,250 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for $48,850,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the development team and the listing agents, Paul Dafterian and Michael Bellier for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And now let's begin our tour. The house is located in a gated community here in Laguna Beach, California. And from the street level, we have the driveway bringing us to this point where we have the motor court. Garage doors open up to the six car garage on the left hand side of the property. Beautiful coastal modern design. And I really like the exterior facade of this home with the Texas limestone, smooth stucco on the first and second floor. And to bring more warmth to the exterior architecture of this home, they use these wood siding designs on the garage on the left hand side and underneath the overhangs of this home, tying in that modern look. As we go this way, we have the walkway here taking us to the entry and on the left hand side, we have this massive glass assembly here, all frosted. This is where we have the main staircase and we're going to see that in a bit. And lastly, we have the front door right in front of us. And now let's go inside. Here we are at the entry. We got this beautiful pivot door with a massive handle. And as soon as you walk in, you go straight into your grand foyer. Beautiful space, stone floors. We have the staircase on my right hand side going up to the second floor. And the first thing you see as you walk into the property is this massive glass assembly here looking towards the amazing ocean views. This is phenomenal. You don't see any neighbors. All you see is that crystal clear water, which is amazing. This space, we have high ceilings, bridge that connects the bedroom on the other side. And on my left hand side, we have the dining area, few bedrooms, a uh, wine cellar and a family room that we're gonna tour in a bit. But before we leave this section, there's one more detail I would like to point out. Mikey, let's focus on this glass panel here. So this was custom designed for this space, 20 foot, and it's automatic. So with a push of a button, you open up this section to the outdoors. And I love how they use the same tiles and carried out the design from the interiors to the outdoors, creates this seamless transition and this is a great space because you can just have people come in from the front door and go straight to the backyard. If you have parties, if you have your friends over, this is amazing. And that backyard is phenomenal. We're gonna see that in a bit. First, I'm gonna close this door and take everybody to the right wing of this home. And this is where we have the formal living room area. Super spacious, same stone floors. We have the seating section on this side and this room gets ton of natural light because we have this open corner design with Fleetwood glass doors pocketing into the walls, opening up this entire space to that phenomenal backyard. We have the built-ins on this side with stone back wall, open shelving. I love the color contrast between the wood panels, open shelving, the darker tones, and right in the center, we have a wood burning fireplace, which is rare to come by, but this property has it. Can you have a wood burning fireplace in Los Angeles? You can't, right? You can't. You can't, yeah. You can't. You used to be able to, yeah. but now they don't allow it anymore for safety reasons. So if you have a wood burning fireplace, you can maintain it and keep it. But if you demolish it, you can never rebuild it. It's kind of a selling point sometimes, right? It is a big selling point, without yeah. a doubt. Now, formal living room area, this entertainment space kind of flows to this side. We got to show this. We got a beautiful pocket door here. And I love a good hardware. Look at that sound. Very there nice. you go. Opens up to your office. This is also a great room. Seating section on the left. Desk set up here. Built-ins 
on the other side complementing the room and this door opens up to the bathroom for the office. Also, there's one more detail I wanna mention. There are a ton of corner glass details throughout this property, both facing the ocean and the street side. And we can see another assembly over here with a casement to bring natural light and fresh air to this room. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the entry. We have the front door on, my, on our left-hand side, staircase going up to the second floor, beautiful steel design, open riser, very sleek. We're gonna talk about that in a bit. But first, I wanna take everybody to this side, which is where we have the kitchen and the family room. This side of the home is again, all open, flowing to the outdoors. We have sliding glass doors everywhere. Right now, we're at the family room, seating section, some open shelving on the back, and right in front of us, we have this beautiful fireplace assembly with a book match marble right in the center. Looks stunning. Down below, it's actually not a gas fireplace. It's an ethanol linear gas fireplace. I wanted to mention that. It's environmental friendly. What, what, what's the benefit of that? Is it just burn cleaner? Burns cleaner, exactly. And then the way it works is you open these slots and you put ethanol and it just sits there. When you're ready, you just light it up and eventually it burns itself. Yeah, we've seen that before actually, never mind. We have. Yeah. Uh, Nosrati's property, Ray Nosrati. That's right, Brent Brent Brentwood Oasis. Exactly. And on top of that, I love the subtle lighting details that they did throughout the property, like this reveal detail that we have on top of the fireplace, lighting up the marble, can slide in glass doors, opening up to the patio space. And we have another corner glass detail here, stacking on one side, tucking behind the fireplace, opening up this entire space to the covered patio, then the outdoors. And I mean, look at your views from your family room. Yeah. This is phenomenal. This is the first house we're touring that is right on a cliff or a bluff where you get these intense ocean views. This is phenomenal. Yeah, it's really nice down here. Uh, it's breathtaking out here. The yeah. beach, everything, the whole scenery is so good. It's a little bit bright to see with my camera right now, but we'll take you all out there in a minute. Exactly. All right, right next to the family room, we have the kitchen. It starts with this massive island right in the center with the bar seating, quartzite countertops. And as we go this way, we have this zebra design cabinetry with a gloss finish, contrasting nicely with the white base cabinets on the other side. Two skylights above bringing natural light to this space. And check this out before we continue our tour of this kitchen. There's a hidden door here, takes you to the chef's kitchen located behind the main kitchen. Same white gloss cabinetry is also here. On our right hand side, we have the open shelving. Down below, all the drawers. And on the left hand side, we have the gas wolf stove, six burner, vent design above. We love this minimalist design. Let's see, dishwasher right here, deep sink, stone countertops, also used as a backsplash. Great chef's kitchen that complements your main kitchen. Let's not forget also, we have a small fridge here. Oh yeah, that was a close one, we almost forgot that. Almost. Now, let's go back here. We have the paneled freezer and fridge. Let's take a quick look. We got some Gerber Mates there to keep us awake, keep us sharp. Built-ins, Miele microwave, espresso maker, we have an appliance drawer here, which is a unique touch. And stone countertops continue to go with that minimalist design. They did a backsplash with the same material. And since they have to put some plugs, they utilize these sleek designs to keep it all polished and clean. I love, I love those pop-ups. I do too, especially if you have a gorgeous backsplash like this, that's the direction you should go. Miele gas stove, six burners, griddle in the center, and on top, we have the vent design nicely paneled in with the same cabinetry and your base cabinets continue on this side with more drawers. As we focus back on the island, let's see. We have the Miele dishwasher here, the knock design, the one that we like. I haven't seen those in a little while. Agreed. And uh, quartzite countertops also goes down on the edge as a waterfall design. Overall, great kitchen and I really appreciate the fact that they put two skylights above to bring natural light. Also this family room, the kitchen, the whole design opens up to the side patio where we have those motorized glass doors. One more detail I just realized, they also have these built-ins nicely recessed into the side of the fireplace. Of course, we have some automatic shades throughout. And lastly, complementing the kitchen and the family room, let's take a quick look. We have the wine cellar here. 
you can store up to 300 bottles. I love the open shelving here and these steel rods that again, holds your wine bottles. Also, this house was rebuilt in 2021. It's been recently completed. So you can see all these industrial elements like the steel columns because it's been retrofitted and kind of remodeled extensively, both on the outside and the inside. And we're gonna talk more about that once we go to the backyard. Now, we're back at the entry. Right in front of us, we have the formal dining room area, beautiful table, seating for eight. And I really like how they put these kind of bulky chairs, which are very comfortable for you to sit down, enjoy your meal. Brass chandelier above, right in the center. Massive window assembly here with two casement windows on each side, opening up to the front of the home. Overall, it's a nice open space off of the entry and right next to your kitchen. Now, I wanna take everybody here. We have a power room for this level, super spacious room. And the first thing we gotta talk about is this beautiful, stunning marble pedestal sink. This looks so good, has a subtle slope with a hidden drain, and I know, Mike, you're gonna appreciate this because it has a floor mount faucet. Oh, you turned it on without me asking you this time. I know, yeah. there you go. Looks great. I love the mirror design on the back with the subtle LED lighting, and we have the water closet here. Even in these powder rooms, they have wallpaper throughout. Each one of the bathrooms, bedrooms are nicely thought out. Now, following the hallway, we have the same tile floors, and I'm gonna take everybody to the left wing first. We have the elevator access here going up to the second floor. AV closet. This door opens up to the six car garage that we talked about earlier with epoxy floors. And following the same hallway, this door opens up to the first bedroom suite on this level. I say bedroom suite because it can easily qualify for a bedroom, has a beautiful bathroom and a walk-in closet, but they currently stay as a gym, but I can see this room as being a great um, in-law suite, movie theater, or just a spacious guest room because you can easily have a king size bed here, possibly a seating section. You have all this window assembly here opening up to a courtyard that we're gonna see in a bit. So whoever stays here can have their own little private outdoor space. That's an exterior door right there. Just, just a really good spacious bedroom. And we have hardwood floors throughout. Mikey, let's show this bathroom. Got a pocket door here, double vanity design, quartz countertops, two sinks, and a spacious walk-in shower where you have steam. And then uh, looking for rain head right above me. Full, I got a little full, dizzy. Full 360 there. Yeah, because I knew they had a rain head. Yeah. And each one of these bathrooms or the walk-in showers have this reveal detail with LED lighting that makes the space a little bit more uh, kind of spacious and inviting. Yeah. All right, let's get back out. And before we exit, let's show this. We got a walk-in closet here. And now we're back at the same hallway. Also, we have the second staircase here going up to the second floor, which we're gonna check out in a bit. This door opens up to the laundry room. A lot of base cabinets, a lot of uppers, two washers, two dryers, and we have a sink as well. And now the garden that I just talked about earlier or the courtyard space. Fleetwood doors sag at the end and open up to this section. Same floors are also here and very nice detail. And we're gonna see this in other places, especially in the backyard. Mikey, can we point out the foundation section of this home? That's a stainless steel flashing that they have throughout. It's stainless steel because we are by the coast so you have all the moisture and water that can deteriorate your home. Having a flashing design like that really helps the longevity uh, and the waterproofing of the home. And uh, we can actually see the limestone that they used a little bit closer from this side. They call this fossilized Texas limestone because it has these shell designs throughout, which looks great. And uh, great outdoor space. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's just nice to have, the more outdoor space you have here, the better. Yeah. For sure, it's really cool. All right, before we continue, this door opens up from the chef's kitchen so you can have a direct access here. And following this hallway, we have this massive 10 foot oak pivot door that welcomes you into the primary bedroom suite. On the left hand side, we have some uh, shelving drawers, small fridge. And now let's talk about the bedroom itself. Super warm, 
gets a ton of natural light. We have the king size bed on our left hand side and right across we have the ethanol gas fireplace assembly with stonework. That's probably where you would put your future TV. Same recess and lighting detail is also here. And to bring more warmth to this space, they put wallpaper throughout as well as this wood clad ceiling with a cove lighting detail. And of course, just like the rest of the common areas on this level, we have corner glass detail tucking behind the fireplace as well as this side, opening up to the patio and the amazing views. I mean, the fact that you sleep here and these are the views you wake up to every morning. This is amazing. It's hard to beat. It's hard to beat. I agree. Corner glass detail. They have it also here. I just realized that. Now, super spacious room, hardwood floors, and going through here, we got a nice pocket door with an awesome hardware. There you go. Opening up to the bathroom and the closet, we have two water closets here with a nice toilet that has all the gadgets and features. And going across, Right here, we have the first closet. Every bit of space is all utilized from the floors all the way to the ceilings. Everything is nicely paneled in, island in the center. You have drawers, shoe racks, hangers, recessed and ceiling like detail, chandelier in the center. And to top it all off, we have beautiful, comfortable plush carpet on the floors that even with these shoes, I feel super comfortable walking here. Yeah, really nice. Did you notice they have a Apple Watch Hermes box? I've never seen one of these before. I've never seen one of those either. So that you know that they have their fancy, fancy Apple watches. I guess. I never owned one. You're, you're the Apple watch guy in our group, so <laughs> okay. you can relate to that. Sure, I'll take that. <laughs> All right. This one opens up to the second closet. This one is a little bit bigger. Island setup has the glass countertops where you can actually see the drawers below, which is always nice. So if you have like watches and stuff, it's perfect for that. Really unique light fixture where it almost looks like there are LED crystals inside of these rings. Again, everything is nicely paneled in. We have the wardrobes, shoe racks. Let's see, this looks unique. I have to pull this out. We got a nice, let's see what's on the other side. Oh, this is where you put your ties and all that. Okay. And uh, overall, everything is nicely dialed in. Beautiful walk-in closets. And going around, we're back at the landing. And going to this side, we have the bathroom itself. Again, it's all open. Same floor tiles are also here. Double vanity design. Very minimalist with no handles. Super clean. We got the stone countertops, hidden drains, and they use the same stone as a backsplash as well. LED lit mirrors. Frosted glass on this side with two casements. Another LED lit mirror. And um, let's check out this walk-in shower. We have steam. We have rain head above. And the whole point here is that you can take your shower, look at the ocean. You don't see any neighbors from this perspective. It's nice, it's private. I don't know, just I would honestly leave this casement window open all the time and just kind of shower that way. Yeah, it's really cool. Super nice. And lastly, we have a freestanding tub here right in front of this window assembly. Again, all focused towards this view. And that's pretty much it for the main floor of this home. Now let's go back to the staircase and check out the second floor. All right, everyone, here we are at the second floor landing. Right behind me, we have the frosted glass assembly that brings a ton of natural light through the staircase to the entry. We have the landing here, beautiful hardwood floors, glass railing throughout cedar plank ceilings with the cold lighting detail and right in the center of this landing you can actually see the amazing ocean views that's the grand entry that we have and they went with this 20 foot glass design because even from second floor you can take advantage of these amazing ocean views yeah it's really awesome now second floor has two wings we're going to check out this wing first which is where we have a really spacious guest suite king size bed this whole room again gets a ton of natural light, beautiful hardwood floors. And this bedroom has its own private balcony. In fact, let's go check that out. Let's get closer to that ocean view. Fleetwood glass doors. So you get that ocean breeze coming in. And the fact that you have a private patio or a balcony on this level just for this bedroom suite alone is amazing. We literally see waves rolling. You can actually see some of the homes on the bluff. Look how quiet and peaceful here. I mean, it's, this one is tough to beat. LA has a you know, tough competition here. Yeah, we've done some places in Newport. Uh, haven't done many places in Malibu. 
Yeah. No. Are we done a place in Malibu? Be done. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, nothing. Nothing quite has uh, this kind of beach frontage that we've seen. Or it's, ocean. Frontage. People are way more laid back here. The whole crowd is a little bit more. How do I say it? It's like everything is more peaceful. Everybody is a little bit more relaxed. Everybody is almost like kind of hiding here. It's, it's like private. A beach vibe. It's a beach vibe, absolutely. And while we're up here, property has a standing seam roof detail throughout. In case people don't know what standing seam is, it's actually one of my favorite roofing styles because it's super durable. I like the simple look of it. And once you install these systems correctly, they never leak. The way standing seam roofs work is that uh, you have a track that you screw into the framing of your roof design. Then you put these metal sheets and you have this roller that runs on top of the tracks as well as the panels and it kind of interlocks it together. You can actually see some of the locks there, but the way it locks, it makes it waterproof and it's just such a durable and simple system. And in this house, I think it looks great. So I wanted to mention that. Now, let's take everybody back inside to the bedroom again super spacious another unique detail about this bedroom instead of putting a wall and running it all the way to the ceiling they actually kind of left it open for the natural light to travel and right behind that we have all these built-ins for your hangers and kind of as your closet space right around there we got a small fridge countertop space and as we go this way we have the pocket door here opening up to a bathroom same tiles are also here, loading vanity design, beautiful natural stone countertops, LED lit mirror, and they carried out the same countertop detail in this walk-in shower around the sill, and as well as the shampoo niche, and I just realized even the bench. And on top of that, talking about those corner glass details here, we have a casement here. I'm sorry, I remember the fourth time they used it, right around the whole window frame. Talking about attention to detail here. So well executed bathroom. For sure. All right, let's get out. By the way, water closet is around the corner. Now we're back at the landing. Again, ocean views on our right hand side. And going through this door, we go to the left wing of this home. The first room we go into is a seating area slash kind of a family room on the second floor. But first, let's cover the powder room here. Again, fabricated sink design, floating shelf on the bottom for your towels, water closet, frosted glass. And going back out, we have the family room here. This room is super inviting. I like this vaulted ceiling design where they put this track lighting right at the ridge. Cove lighting detail, super inviting. You got your bar set up here. These countertops are not lettered, but they have this certain finish. I don't know what they call them actually, where you can feel the textures and the veins, but it's a little bit more rougher than a leather finish. Leather tends to be a little bit more smoother. You have some cabinetry here. Let's see, ice maker, of course, your dishwasher, and you have your fridge here. There you go, everything you need. And they use the same countertop as a backsplash with a nice reveal detail with the wood panels, open shelving. It's just an awesome space to just hang out, you know, just go to your patio space that we're gonna tour in a bit. For sure. Mike, I know you're gonna like this. Look at this bar design they did here. We have these shallow sliding glass windows that actually pockets into the wall here, opens up this bar seating section to the outdoors, to the views. You have your seating section on the back and going with the modern lines of this home, they have more of these linear glass windows with a casement on the right hand side, bringing both natural light and fresh air to the space. Overall, I love the spot. And let's go check out the outdoor patio space, which is amazing. Approximately 1,800 square feet of outdoor space on the second floor alone, which is amazing. The fact that you get a patio this spacious with these kind of views are kind of rare. You don't see this quite often here in Laguna Beach. And I mean, I almost want to just shut up and let the people see the views. Look at this, Mikey. We have the reefs below us, the ocean breeze coming in. And I love since we sit on this bluff, we don't really see that many uh, neighbors. You just appreciate the ocean views and hear the waves rolling into your property. Yeah. Phenomenal. And I think uh, I saw some divers out here earlier, so I think this is a great diving spot. When I got some drone shots, it looked like uh, there were kind of those underwater, what are they called? Those like massive seaweed pillars, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks really cool. I think we should uh, maybe check it out. We should, maybe one day. Bring <laughs> our RAND board here. It's always one day. One know? day. 
We got work to do right now, Mikey. <laughs> but also, I had a chance to talk to Paul, one of the listing agents of this property. He was mentioning that you can actually see dolphins here. It's just an awesome scenery. Again, it's so different from LA. Now, Outer space continues. They use the same tiles also here. And check this out, the flooring system here is super cool. Instead of putting a lot of drains on this rooftop deck and sloping everything, they did this flat tile design with the platforms underneath it. So you have all your drains hidden below these tiles and you get this awesome flat surface where it's easier to walk around. You don't have to worry about any of the slopes, but at the same time, you're not uh, compromising your waterproofing and the functionality of the roof design. Yeah, and so basically uh, these little gaps in the tiles just let water through and it drains down below, right? Exactly. I think we saw this at uh, Michael Chin's property, right? Wall Wallace Ridge or his, his Wallace development? Wallace Ridge, we saw it in another property in Beverly Hills. In my opinion, this is a true way of doing roof flooring because if there's a problem in the future, you can lift one of these tiles, fix anything underneath it and put it back on it. And it kind of increases the longevity of your roof. We also have a staircase here going down straight to the lower level where we have the backyard. So you have your easy access point. And now let's go back inside Mikey, continue our tour on this level. We were back at the sound room and following the hallway, we have another room starting here. Again, ocean facing, hardwood floors, bed set up on this side. We have the built-in closets right here. And going through this door, we have the bathroom. Each one of the bathrooms in this house is all designed a little bit differently. So each one of them has a little bit of a character on its own. Tile design, vertically installed, mosaic on the floors. And I really like how they have this little reveal detail in the cabinetry, again, stone countertops. Great bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway. We have the elevator access here, second staircase with a skylight above, more built-ins here, and nice bonus, wash and dryer. Yeah. Convenience. And look at that corner glass detail they did right below the upper cabinets. So unique, that's front facing. And following the hallway, we got another super spacious guest bedroom that is facing the front of the home. Again, same hardwood floors are also here, bed set up. I love how each one of these bedrooms are so spacious. They each either get an outdoor space or a balcony design. You have your automatic shades. It's great. This house is super inviting, super warm. For sure. We have a glass assembly here as well with a casement and going through this door, another bathroom, wood tone vanity, walk-in shower, again, with different tiles, mosaic on the floors. I really appreciate this long awning window they placed here. Who doesn't like a ventilation when you live this close to the ocean, you know? That's right. And uh, we got a walk-in closet here. Again, nicely paneled in. Open shelves, hangers, everything you need. Now, we got one more bedroom to see on this level. Let's go check that out. And so far, second floor of this home. Again, old bedrooms are super spacious. Most of them are getting the ocean views. And honestly, I love that center um, family room that they have. It's just a, such a cozy space to hang out. Last bedroom. Let's check out the closet real quick while we're on this end. Again, pretty much the same size as the one that we just toured. We have the bedroom in front of us, left-hand side, full bathroom. Again, same vanity details, walk-in shower, bed setup is right here. And just like the other bedrooms that we saw, this one also gets a balcony. The door is on this side. Let's go take a quick look. I mean, this is great. Even the back bedrooms are getting ocean views. This is phenomenal. And that's pretty much it for the second floor of this home. Now let's go back downstairs and check out that amazing backyard. All right, everyone, let's go check out the backyard. We're back at the grand entry. Just like we mentioned earlier, automatic glass doors, pocket into the walls, open up the entry of this home to the patio space. Same floors are also here. And just like the second floor balcony, we're on this suspended tile design where we have the drains underneath. That way they can keep this perfect flat elevation throughout the patio spaces. On my right hand side, we have the family room all opened up thanks to these industrial steel columns. That way all the weight can be carried by these columns and they can place these open corner designs that makes these rooms flow straight to the outdoors. Right underneath this covered patio setup, we have the outdoor seating, fire pit, two space heaters, built-in speakers, 
and as we go this way, we have the stairs going down to the lower level, to the side of the property, where we have the outdoor barbecue setup with a sink, and we have a little grass section here. By the way, they just completed this home, and grass is literally still growing. I wanted to mention that it looks a little patchy right now. I'm sure in a couple of weeks, it will look perfect. Now, right behind me, we have the pool setup, super inviting dark blue plaster, we have the spa on the right hand side, and right underneath me we have three water features spilling water to this amazing pool setup. Now all these overhangs are clad with cedar underneath them, right across we have the kitchen and the family room again opening up to this patio space. This is super cool, we have this outdoor staircase taking you down from the patio level to the pool level where we have these concrete pads, water is seeping in between, and you'll literally walk across your pool setup to this side of the backyard. We have more lounging areas here. This whole backyard with the landscaping, palm trees, everything is so inviting. And it's crazy to think that you're on a over a half an acre on the bluff looking to the ocean. This property, the setup, the setting is so rare. So I wanted to mention that. Now, Patio continues to this side. We have more outdoor seating. On our left hand side, we have the family room all opening up to this space. Another fire pit on the left hand side with built in seating. Again, glass railing throughout. And as we go up, we actually haven't opened it. Let me do that right now. We have the primary bedroom opening up to this amazing backyard. I mean, this is crazy. This is so cool. That's it, right there you get that perfect flow. Again, they just planted the grass seeds here, so I'm sure in a couple of weeks it will look great. Staircase here, coming up from the second floor balcony to the lower patio space or the backyard. And Mikey, let's get to the edge because we have to show this. This is Laguna Beach. Look at this setup. This is a really valuable piece of California coastline. And these are your views. I mean, overall, what a phenomenal property. That's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a like. And if you have any questions or input, as always, leave us a comment down below. I also want to congratulate the development team for doing a phenomenal job with this build. And I also want to thank the listing agents, Paul and Michael, again, for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about the property, property link, and the contact information of the listing agents down in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.